Well, Jim, a good point. Tough place to come, given they've scored 10 goals in the last two games. A clean sheet today is a terrific achievement, isn't it? Yeah, uh, that was the last thing I expected today, was a 0-0 <laughs> after seeing our game and their game at the weekend. Uh, but, no, no, um, I was really disappointed with our performance. There was so much that was there last Saturday that wasn't there uh, this Saturday. Uh, there was so much we tried to add during the week. and. Um, so we were a little bit out of sorts today, and uh, but um, I think it was the nature of the game. It was so frenetic, it was so uh, rushed. There was lots of uh, high press and high tempo challenges that disturbed the flow. But yeah, no, we're, we're, we're pleased with it. Uh, in actual fact, it, it, there were so few chances in the game, weren't there? It was, but you've got to be pleased with his defensive dominance. I thought the two centre halves and full backs did really well for you. Too. Yeah, um, and you, you've got to give Lewis Montrose again credit because what he does is he, he, he gives that little bit of uh, protection of the big nine, mm. Pennicut, sorry, the 11 Pennicut, or Denton comes on. He, uh, he, he By him challenging and competing in them areas, it allows the back force to keep its integrity. Um, and you can see the difference when he challenges, say, perhaps when Clarkie challenges, there's a little bit of a scramble. Um, even if he doesn't win it, Lewis, um, the ball breaks to the spare centre half. So, um, yeah, I, I think it was. From, from the back five upwards, it was a little bit disjointed in terms of uh, recognising how to get up the pitch, but there was lots of scrappy bits to right. set plays back to the goal kicks, um, free kicks straight to the keeper, throw ins all over the place, corners. I, I won't even go there, you know. <laughs> perhaps, perhaps the club should be delighted with Danny Lloyd's performance today because. Um, but, um, no, but. Uh, there was loads of stuff we looked at Thursday, and I, I was so disappointed that the players didn't bring that to the game today. Because mm. if we'd done, we would have, we'd have put ourselves in a position to win the game. Gary Stock was his final game for the club now, and uh, I saw you shaking hands with him at the end. There, and he's, uh, he's going to be a big miss, isn't he? Yeah, great, great character, great athlete, um, good footballer, and he's done great for us. Um, it's got to be difficult to replace his energy. I mean, he was all over the place. You could see him coming to the fore for the last ten or twenty minutes. He's getting smashed in a six foot five, six foot two sandwich by Denton, um, and he gets up and, and just keeps going. Uh, I didn't want to take him off, um, you know, to get that round of applause. I, I want him to see every minute out and um, get the applause at the end. So, uh, no, great. Um, we, we have to work really hard now as a team to make sure that we don't have a Gary Stock for fun. Well, uh, how do you replace him? What, what do you think you're going to do to, to, to fill the gap that he leaves? Um, we've got. Um, Obviously, look, tried to get little Harry, Harry Brazil in. Um, he's got good energy. Uh, perhaps it's going to take him a while to get to the tempo of this game. Uh, Elliot Osborne's come in. Um, one of the things that we used prior to the Brackley games, we used Rossi at right back and used Sam in there. So that's an option. You know, Elliot one side of Lewis and Sam the other, because Sam's fantastic energy as well. Uh, probably one of our best players today. Uh, kept NT very quiet. Um, you know, and like I said, if he can add a little bit going forward, um, I think he's going to be a fantastic player for the future. Uh, great defender, uh, good footballer. Uh, I'd like to see a little bit more from him as an attacking force, but perhaps playing in midfield will give him that opportunity. So we've got a couple of options. Um, we've also got Courtney. Um, we could come in if we want to go a little bit more rock solid and um, you know keep two at the base. Um, but again, it's, it's just a, it's a tricky one to find the balance between the midfield defence and the attack. Um, you know, Gary's helped Lewis give us a, a certain integrity within the midfield. Uh, what we need to do is find that balance, keep that, but also have that link between the midfield defence and the attacking force that we, we want to be. Just a word on the, the support today. I mean, over a thousand county fans in this ground this afternoon, and, and the noise they were making, particularly in the second half, is terrific to hear. Yeah, it's great, and it, it's so uplifting for the players. Mm. I'm sure at critical times. Um, I mean, I've made league debut here for the old Halifax, yeah. um, and uh, I think within a couple of weeks I was at Sheffield, uh, left Sheffield to go to Stockport. And I remember playing here at the end of the season when we had 3,000 fans and uh, a lot of fancy dress and crazy hats going on that day. So, but again, it's uh, you know it's it's a good club, Halifax. It's great set up here. It's our fans made it make make it feel like a like a proper proper game of football. And um, again, and I think maybe that atmosphere created that real. Derby kind of cup cup final feel. It was so frenetic today. Um, so unfortunately, the entertainment wasn't there, the goals weren't there, but the atmosphere and the energy within the game was certainly there.
at the end, uh, probably the, the, the biggest pressure you came under was in those final 10 minutes, but when, even when they did get through, of course, Clarkie with a great goal line clearance. Those are pro probably the most nervy moments for you today, would you say? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's always a danger when you, you give away uh, cheap set plays. I mean, we've spoke to Elliot about it. Um, you know, from the previous game, and but that's it. That's tiredness, and that's p keeping that control. You can see some sloppy passes, sloppy challenges coming in um, when you're a bit tired. So that that's the difference between those players that are really concentrating when they're tired, and uh, uh, they've got some really strong players. Um, you know, Morgan's mentally good, King, Coslo. They, they were all at it for 90 minutes. Um, so they were always going to create opportunities if they kept putting the pressure on us. Um, you know, considering. The way we played today, uh, a draw is a fantastic result. And finally, Jim, back to Brackley on Tuesday night. Tough place to go, of course, and again, uh, a side that's up there challenging, but it, I think their game was called off today, so they're getting a real backlog of fixtures. Yeah, uh, but you know, the flip side is that the, it's like uh, Curzon have gone all the way to Darlington on a Saturday and they've got to play at home to a fresh Staley Ridge, yeah. so um, no, no, that's it. We, we, might, we might look at changes. We've got a couple of lads who are looking leggy. Uh, obviously, we've got, we haven't got Gary, so um, it's just trying to shrewdly use the whole squad and get that extra bit of energy without losing what we are. Um, it's a tough place. Um, we've learned a lot of lessons from the last two games, so um, we'll go there with a, with a good game plan to make sure we come out with some of the game. The pressure's on them, really, to win. Uh, the pressure's on them to, you know, uh, as I looked at it today, they were five points behind Halifax with three games, and. I think a lot of managers would tell you they prefer to have the five points than three games in hand, especially them games in hand to include the likes of Kidderminster and Salford. So, um, a lot of football to be played between now and then. But what's super critical for us, I think, at this stage is that we don't lose to anybody in the top six. Uh, that was a job done today, that was a job done last week. Um, regardless of whether we could have won the game last week or, or, or got something out of today's game, more than that. Um, What's really important is that we don't, these are six pointers. What you want to do is, it's one point, there's two points taken off the challenges. Um, and then, like I said, once we get Brackley out of the way, then we're in a month where really we need to step up our game and start looking at winning matches. Fantastic. Well done.